everyone. This is a chemistry project presentation about acid-base titration. Please enjoy our presentation. Objective: to show the amount in mole or in concentration of sample. Theory: pH range. The difference in pH of each solution will change the color of indicator. Phenolphthalein changes from colorless to pink when it reaches pH of 9.3. Titration. Titration uses to determine the concentration of unknown substances by using the property of acid-base titration. The mole of hydronium ion is equal to hydroxide ion when it reaches the equivalent point. Therefore, we use C1V1 equal to C2V2 to calculate the concentration of analyte. It can be only used just in some reaction. The solution which we know the accurate concentration is called titran. Equipment: a r a n m e r flask, beaker, pipette. Bulb. Now we come to the procedure. First, pipette 25 cm cube of an hydrochloric unknown solution into a 250 cm cube Erlenmeyer flask. Then, pour the standard solution of 0.1 sodium hydroxide into a beret. Then, adjust the volume of the solution on the exact mark. Then you have to record the mark. The third step is add two to three drops of phenolphthalein indicator into the flask. Then record the color of the solution. Fourth, add the standard solution from the beret into the flask by swirling the solution. Make sure that all the reactants react completely until the color of the indicator changes. Record the color. At the point of the color changes, is called endpoint. Take reading the standard solution to be used. Seventh, repeat the whole procedures more times and record the volume of standard solution is used. Eighth, average the volumes of the standard solution we used. We are doing the titration by adding the sodium hydroxide in the hydrochloric solution. The hydrochloric solution is now colorless, and we have to keep adding the sodium hydroxide until the solution changes its color from colorless to pale pink. Then we have to stop. After that, we have to read the amount of. The sodium hydroxide used. This table represents the result of our experiment. As you can see, the pH slightly rises up due to the addition of the sodium hydroxide. But when the volume reaches seven milliliters. The pH jumps from 2.2 to 9.62. After that, when we keep adding the sodium hydroxide, the pH slightly increases due to the volume again. The result we are presenting you as the graph. Y-axis is the pH, and x-axis is the volume. As you can see, when we add the sodium hydroxide. The pH slightly moves up, but when we add the sodium hydroxide until it reaches 7 milliliters, the pH jumps from 2.2 to 9.62. After it passes that stage, when we keep adding the sodium hydroxide, the pH slightly moves up until it becomes constant. This graph shows the volume used in this experiment. In order to find the volume, you have to draw two perpendicular lines. 
you have to find the midpoints of the line. After that, join them, making the point where the line cuts the graph. Then, drag the point where the line cuts the graph. Drag it to the x-axis, which is the volume. The point where the line that you drag cuts the x-axis is the volume. In this graph shows that the volume is 7.8 milliliters. For the conclusion, we are presenting as a table form. The left side is the trial, and the right side is the volume of sodium hydroxide added. As you can see, our first trial, we got 7.8 cm3. The second trial is about 7.9 cm3. And the third time is also 7.9 cm3. So our average sodium hydroxide added is 7.87 cm3. Now we have to calculate our percent yield by the formula in point over equivalence point times 100. Our end point is 7.8 cm3 and our equivalence point is 7.9 cm3. So overall, when we substitute to the formula, we got 7.8 over 7.9 times 100 is equals to 100.9 percent and next step is to find the concentration of hydrochloric acid this can be done by 7.87 cm cube of NaOH times 0.1 mole of NaOH over 1000 cm cube of NaOH times 1 mole HCl over 1 mole NaOH times 1 over 25 cm cube HCl times 1000 cm cube over 1 liter of HCl. This will equal to 0 0.0315 molar of hydrochloric acid. Conclusion From the experiment, we would not be set if we add the base sodium hydroxide into the acid. Hydrochloric enough, we would be able to change the color of the indicators in the solution or in the other word is it can change the acidity of the substance with just a few drops of bases. This can be concluded that the acidity of the solution can be changed using the process of acid-based titration. Thank you so much for watching our presentation.